and uh, I think that was a pretty good hit. Once again, I'm uh, snookered here. The uh, red ball's over the corner pocket. I could play this uh, three different ways. First of all, off the side cushion and pot the red, or else I could come off the bottom cushion, one cushion, and pot the red. But uh, I'd like to show it uh, in a way that's a bit more difficult, five or six cushions and pot the red. Thank you, thank you. Don't applaud, just throw lots of catch. We now come to the section on match play and tactics. And if you're taking the game seriously, all the practice and technique and hard work should be leading up to a proper match. That's what we're all about. The idea of playing the right shot at the right time, knowing when to go for a ball, when to play safe. All these things have to be taken into account. And of course, one of the greatest tacticians in the game, one of the top players, Dennis Taylor, I've had many great games with him. Who will forget that great match in the World Championships when Dennis beat me 18-17? Dennis and I, are we going to play a game? And hopefully, with the aid of technology, we're going to talk through the match so you can hear our thoughts. Dennis. Well, thank you, Steve. I'm certainly looking forward to this game. Uh, as you said, we have had many, many a good battle. Uh, we all can knock in 100 breaks and pop the balls, but you've got to be able to get yourself into the position to be able to pop the balls and that's where the tactics and the safety side of the game comes in. So uh, this is going to be very important and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. Right, I must hit the end red here and try and get a good break. Oh, I've got the white where I wanted it. Right, he's cut off the red into the corner pocket with the green. So I've got to see if there's any other balls to get bound safe. I've got no chance of a pot. Those two reds go. That red goes in the middle, so I can't really play the safety shot into that corner unless I get the white tight on the top cushion. Um, I'm blocked off on the other side of the table. Can I go off the side cushion and hit into the side of the pack? No, the yellow's in the way there. Gonna have to play and try and get this white tight on the cushion, otherwise Dennis has got a pot on a red. Well, he got a little bit of a kick there. That's a little bit of luck on my part. Oh, that good break off. Give me an opening. The red will go into the middle pocket here, I think. But no, I'll have a go into the corner pocket, will I? Oh, well. Uh, that would have been nice, so it was nicely on the black there, but not to worry, I haven't left anything. Yeah, good shot by Dennis there, shot to nothing. Even if he misses the pot, I can't see a shot. If he'd have played it into the middle, he may have left me one if he'd missed. Now, I can't really play a safety shot into the bulk area because that red's now wobbled in the jaws and stayed there, so I've got to look at a, a shot to play safe. I might play this one into the, to the side cushion and back again. No, but if I do that, possibly I'll leave Dennis a chance of the double on this red I might play. So I think I'll just play this and try and put it behind the black. Not too hard, though. I might leave one in the middle. Oh. Well, I thought I was going to really be in trouble there, but uh, the white's carried on and I can have a go to red into the middle pocket. Once again, it's a shot to nothing. If I pot it, that'd be nicely on the black here. That looks good. I've got an angle on the black here. If I can just get the cannon onto that end red, it should leave me on the uh, the other one just above the white. I'll just leave myself an angle on the black here to. Uh, and over the cue ball. Now there's that red next to the blue. I've got that as a saver. I'm just having a second thought here. If I could just play a cannon onto the red to the left of the pack, it would leave me on one back into the corner. Oh, didn't quite catch the red, but as I mentioned, the other one was uh, a saver there, so I've got a slight angle. I'll have to force this, but uh, I can get back to the black, I think. Well, 
I've got an angle again on the black. I'll play the white off the top cushion and try and get the cannon onto that red again. I just missed it again. Well, that was a bit unfortunate, really. All the reds are blocking each other. There's possibility of a plant there, but it... So I'm going to have to have a go with that uh, red that's up near the yellow. I'm not too sure where the white's going to go here. I'll probably cannon into that other red. Well, I was a bit fortunate that Dennis didn't get any cannons on the red up the top, so that was forgivable missing that red. Uh, I've got a chance with the pot in the middle here, but the only trouble is if I miss it, the white ball comes off the cushion and hits the yellow, and I don't really want to play a 50-50 shot. I think I'll play the safety shot and try and put Dennis in trouble. Keep the white to the cushion. Well, as usual, Steve plays a very good tactical safety shot. I can hit the reds there, but... Uh, I don't fancy going up to them. I think I'll come off the side cushion and try and just nestle onto that red that's on the top cushion. Oh, I like that. I think I might have judged that one nicely. Yeah, good shot by Dennis there. He didn't want to play the red to the left of the pack that he could see because unless he hit it perfectly, he would have given me a shot on the red on the left-hand cushion. So he played the shot that was the best percentage shot. The only thing I can do really now is to try and get the white ball as far away from the reds as possible leave it down, try and get it on the cushion I'll just have a look here, see if I'm going to knock anything towards the pocket there's definitely no pot on so it's a safety shot but uh, I don't really want to knock a red over towards that left corner pocket. Oh, Dennis hit that a bit thick. Where's it going to finish up? Well, he's given me a 50-50 chance on the red into the corner. Well, I've got to make my mind up whether I decide to go for it or whether I play a safety shot. Every time we play these safety shots now, if anything, uh, on the left of the table, the white ball's left, um, there's the chance of this red. I think this might be my best opportunity for putting this red. I've got a fair chance of getting on the black if I stun the shot across. Just go for it with everything I've got here. Well, uh, I expected Steve to get that. He hasn't quite warmed up yet, but... Uh left a red here it's there's a red pot in the middle but uh, what can I do with that it's a bit tricky that one now this one that the whites closest to I can pot that but uh, I've got to just work out where the cue ball is going to go I'm quite close so I have to be careful not to push it if I can play this with a lot of bottom I might be able to come off the other reds and back for the black Oh, I'll settle for that. And just make sure and pot this black because the reds are nicely spread. I should be able to finish nicely on one. <coughs> well, there's a red in the corner, but I think I'll take this one in the middle and uh, if I can put a little bit of left-hand side, I can come around two cushions behind the black. I've got a nice angle on the black here, so uh, I'll just pot the black and play a cannon onto one of the reds there. Oh, well, I didn't expect to be uh, striking over this one. It's, it's a bit difficult. I don't fancy this one now. I've got the, uh, the red 
Oh, it's just off straight. I can come back for the black here. I might have to come off one of the other reds screwing back. Yeah, that's worked out pretty good. <coughs> and similar shot to the last, just to take the white back off the cushion now. Oh, would you believe it? That was a little bit careless there. I should never have finished in that position. 48 points. In